So what exactly is gasoline? There are many names for it. Petrol, gas, fuel. It's basically food for your car. Have you ever thought about how this magical substance gets extracted miles beneath the Earth's surface and into your car? You should, because in the US, we consume 367 million gallons of gasoline every day. That's enough gasoline to fill 582 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Let's start from the beginning. Hundreds of millions of years ago, plants and animals that died and sank to the ocean floor became covered by dirt, rock, and dust. Over time, being trapped underneath all the sediment created lots of heat and pressure, causing the plants and animal remains to cook. Due to the lack of oxygen under the sediment layers, these remains form into carbon-rich compounds. Over millions of years, these compounds became what we know today as petroleum or crude oil. Geologists use various methods to guess where pockets of petroleum might reside, and oil companies drill miles into the earth to extract it. Crude oil contains hydrocarbons, which can be refined to form various substances such as toilet seats, trash bags, surfboards, bicycle tires, and of course, gasoline. That's right, almost everything you use, from the credit card inside your wallet or the balloon at your birthday party, are made from substances derived from crude oil. Hydrocarbons, as the name indicates, contain elements of hydrogen and carbon. Crude oil contains a lot of different types of hydrocarbon molecules, with different numbers of carbon and hydrogen atoms, so we must separate each type before we can make them into useful things. The process which is used to separate each type of hydrocarbon is called fractional distillation. The basic idea is that each type of hydrocarbon has a different boiling point. Crude oil is vaporized at the bottom of a column, and as the gas rises, it cools. Each type of hydrocarbon at a specific boiling point in the column will condense back into liquid form. There are collection stations along the various known boiling points, which is how the different hydrocarbons get sorted. Gasoline contains over 500 types of hydrocarbons, including heptane and isooctane. These hydrocarbons are then further processed through cracking and polymerization. Cracking is the process of breaking large hydrocarbons into smaller pieces, and polymerization is the process of combining smaller hydrocarbons into a bigger piece. There are additional chemical processes such as purification and blending which happens afterwards, and ultimately this yields the final product, gasoline. 